All right, everybody knows these uh, style of uh, kids' bikes here. Uh, what I found about this was it was actually too short uh, for me to comfortably be able to control um, the movement because my son is too young to know how to steer. So naturally that meant when I was trying to push forward, he would be moving the wheel left or right on me, which made it very difficult to actually do that. And since my height didn't allow me to very, very you know, comfortably grab the bar here, I actually just decided to put a little extension on which makes it a lot easier for me to tip it and to control this uh, quite easily. So just real quick, uh, this was a, just a very, very simple project. I just went ahead and actually moved the locking device that is usually down here, and I slid in a uh, 5 eighths of an inch dowel um, section just down here, which fits a little bit better. Move this section up to here, and then put in one of these uh, little U-bolts, as you can see here. Just threw some wood, threw it on up here, and I actually used some of this um, metal material here to just grab a little uh, a little grip there on the board, and then I simply put in a quick little handle on here. So now this just has allowed me to do it a lot easier, and it's not nearly as painful when my son wants to, to ride it, to just be able to grab on this and to be able to push him around the neighborhood. So it's taken something that hurt my back trying to avoid uh, you know running him into all sorts of things and now it's just very very easy and this was a little um, I don't know this cost probably about six dollars worth of materials to just really quickly uh, Adapt for a taller person like myself. I stand six foot three So it's not like I'm seven feet tall, but it's more comfortable and for six dollars. That's definitely worth it. Thanks for watching